brothers and sisters in Christ, the Lord has called me to start a series breaking down the parables of Jesus. And I'm going to start with the parable of the sower found in Matthew 13, verse 1 through 23. 13, 3 starts with, And he spake with many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon the stony places where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell in good ground, and brought forth fruit, some in a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who hath ears to hear, let them hear. In ancient Israel, they had a whole different farming system. So they would have plots of land, farmers would be assigned a certain plot of land. Now, these particular spots were surrounded by either rocky areas, there's either a path nearby, and they would throw out their seeds. In this parable, the ground represents our hearts, and the seed represents God's word, the gospels, Jesus, anything involving God's word. Now, the seed is being planted in our hearts, and Jesus breaks down four different types of soil it lands on. The first one is the path. When soil is landed on the path, it is either trampled or the birds eat it away. This re represents when we preach a word to someone that's not on a solid foundation, that's not on a fertilized soil. That means the word you preach to them gets trampled. And what that means is sometimes we can preach the word um, aggressively or not genuinely and sometimes people don't take it to heart and it gets trampled or eaten up by the enemy. The next foundation is rocky ground. Now rocky ground doesn't get enough water. It doesn't get you know watered enough. It um, withers away in the heat. So this means when you preach and it doesn't stick to someone's heart because there's nothing building on it. Now this happens usually when there's no consistency from that word that was taught. So you know, you can go to church, you can hear a word, but if there's no consistency, if it's not getting watered, it's not going to grow and it's going to wither away. The third one is thorns. This is when the word is planted in our hearts, but usually it, if it's planted out of hatred or fear, for instance, when you teach the gospel out of fear, um, that, oh, hell is real, when you preach it like that, putting fear in that person, they're more likely going to stumble in their faith. Um, because they're growing in spiky thorns, they're growing it with a fear attached to it. So, you know, it won't be as fruitful because it's just not healthy and it's not in a stable position. The final soil is the fertilized soil. This is when the word is planted on our hearts and it sticks and it's watered and it grows to produce fruit. He said, those with ears let them hear. Not everyone is able to comprehend these parables. That's why it's important for us believers to break it down. It's important for us to plant that seed on proper soil so it can grow and it can produce fruits. What are the fruits? The fruits of the Spirit, of course, God's Spirit. For those listening where the seed is planted, let it root in your heart. Let it grow. God is speaking to you. He wants his word to, you know, reach your heart so it's planted because the Lord's kingdom is the foundation in our hearts. It's not in a building. It's not in a church. God's foundation is set in our hearts. That seed will be planted and it will grow. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you all.